The wealthy Saudi Arabian government has been criticized for not helping take in any displaced refugees from Syria and Iraq. They did, however, announce their offer to build 200 Saudi-run mosques in Germany, where many of the Muslim refugees are going, they say, in order to ease social integration. And I guess, Margaret, that does make sense, though. But this comes amid growing accusation of hypocrisy towards Saudi Arabia, because we know that they do funnel money and they do support these groups that are fighting in Syria. So you think that they would take a little bit more responsibility as far as taking the people that get displaced because of that fighting. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at countries neighboring, we have a chart here that shows how many people so far have gone to neighboring countries around those Gulf countries. For example, you look at the small ones like Lebanon, 1.2 million, Jordan, over 600,000. Uh, look at the top there, that's Turkey, 1.8 million people. Meanwhile, on the Gulf countries, Saudi Arabia zero, UAE, Qatar, Kuwait, all zero. Now, they have given temporary work visas, okay, to half of a million migrants, from, uh, refugees from Syria. So you can't say they haven't done anything because they have, but there is a big difference between temporary work permits and per permanent resettlement like what we're seeing in Germany. And Germany so far is expecting 800,000, who knows how many more in the next coming years. I mean, look, I, and I hate to cut you off, but okay. I just cannot sit here any longer. This is so aggravating to me that um, Saudi Arabia, the, just the audacity of that. What if Germany turned around and said, look, you take these people, but to help you out, we're going to just build them 200 churches. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's it's such, it lends to that, um, that understanding or that theory that um, um, there are groups that really do want the Islamization of Western Europe and all of Europe as a whole for that matter. And that, that says to me, this, um, you know, this benevolent gesture, that really propagates that. Right. And, 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 you know, a lot of people could see this possibly as, as sort of this win-win situation for Saudi Arabia. They could say, well, hey, uh, now it looks like we're doing something. We're helping mm -hmm. out these refugees. But at the same time, this gives us an opportunity to spread our influence within Germany, within these Western mm -hmm. countries, like what you said. Because like I said, these are, these are Saudi-led mm -hmm. mosques. These are these are Saudi built mosques. A very so they specific will have, form yeah. of um, you know the Preaching. Islamization yeah. of of these people. That's a very specific form. Exactly. I, I also want to point out the Grand Mufti of um, in Saudi Arabia. They cited um, this Islamic law that's calling for the destruction of every church in the Arabian Peninsula, as well as banning um, construction of future churches. So not only do they want to spread mosques all throughout Germany and probably Western Europe. I mean, I don't know. Does this only extend to Germany? Yeah. They want so far. To to offer them thing, they want to destroy whatever. So it's it seems really like a religious push, not a humanitarian push. And I don't think this kind of stuff would fly in extremely Catholic Italy, for example. And, and, and I know they're doing this because there are a lot of Muslims within Germany. Turkey's been trying to do the exact same thing. They want to see a lot of German Turks taken out of their school, segregated, and put it in put into Muslim schools where they, where they can kind of maintain mm -hmm. their Muslim culture. They don't want them to get whitewashed. They don't want right. them to get, you know, con even convert, God the forbid. Part, the, part of, the part of that argument, so if you're joining a country, assimilation is key to joining any country or, you know, what's the... What's the point? What, what, what's I the mean, point? other than the humanitarian aid, and, and of course we should be helping people that are suffering, that are starving, that are dying, their kids are washing up on, on beaches. You know, those people should be helped. Something should be done. But at the same time, um, I, re I really do feel for um, Germany, and specifically, you know, they have a, they have a large task at hand, 800,000. Don't you wish? We're taking 10,000. Our president just yeah. announced that we're accepting 10,000 Syrian refugees. Uh, don't you think maybe... Excuse me here for being very blunt, but don't you think instead of mosques, refugee housing or something would Water, help a lot food, more? Water, food, clothing, well, exactly. Um, it, you know, access to health care, a number of things again, would though, be it's, very it's not surprising, beneficial. It's not surprising that the Saudis are putting religion first. I mean, we're talking about a country where apostasy, for example, that's enough Garner's to get your head death. Cut off. So, yeah. it's, 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 again, it's, it's ridiculous, but it's not surprising coming from a country like Saudi Arabia. But we want to know what you guys think at home. They're the, the Saudis extending their arms out and saying, hey, we're going to build, we're going to help you guys, we're going to build 200 mosques. What does that really mean? What are, their, what are their real intentions here? Let us know in the comments below, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the Lib TV for more.